I know that Carla has it as her mission to get as many people in New Hampshire as possible. And I, I think that's a great goal and I would love to see more people do it. But for those for whom it's impossible for whatever reason, family or whatever, you can again, be inspired by what's going on in New Hampshire. So it's not, so this idea, this episode is not by any means solely of interest to people in New Hampshire. It might be the least interest to them because they, they know right. most about it. It's to tell everybody else what's going on so that you can either join them or replicate them. Yeah, so I mean, community is a really important facet of of this movement. You know, it's it's kind of fun to be amongst. We we know because we we do the conference circuit. So when you're at a conference, it's great because everyone around you is sort of like minded. So that is our lives on an everyday level. So exciting things that are happening on the community level are uh, here, and we have various community centers that are popping up all over the state. All of this is decentralized because that's our jam, right? Like we want people to do their own thing with their own human action. And so in Manchester, we actually, a bunch of investors just bought the Quill, which was our community center that they had rented for, you know, 10 years. So that is now Porcupine owned. Um, they are going to try and replicate that model actually across the state, but then also for, for your listeners nationwide. And the thinking would be that we have this fraternal order of porcupines and we would put these like little embassies almost in different places so if there are listeners who are like yeah honestly i'm never gonna move but i love what you guys are doing i want you to succeed yes we need this beacon of liberty that we can show other people hey these ideas actually work right that's really what we're trying to do is to say everyone's forgotten freedom I was laughing because for years I said, oh, we're building the, the uh, Yankee Hong Kong and then Hong Kong fell. And then I was like, oh, we're building the Yankee Switzerland and then Switzerland fell. Now I'm like, we're just building the Yankee New Hampshire free state, right? But for folks who aren't gonna move, either replicate it or support us. So invest in the community centers if you can, or consider starting one as a as an embassy wherever you are. And then, you know, we we can we we do need a network. And I think depending on what's gonna happen going forward, you know, more people are either gonna come here and we're gonna kind of be building a, a underground railroad of some sort. But you know, having sort of these these embassies in other places, I think could be good for liberty all over, but then also good for us in the long term. Uh, a bunch of porks just bought an inn on a lake in Bow, New Hampshire. So it's 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 a tiny little inn at six rooms uh, with maybe a space that someone would be able to rent for a family to use as a launching pad. Uh, the real estate market, the housing market is pretty hot right now. So for people who wanna come in, who, who do wanna come, but they're still looking to buy or that kind of thing, this inn is supposed to provide them with sort of a, a, a launching pad. We have another community center out in the, the seacoast area called the Shell. They've been doing a lot of great events. And then honestly, you know, because you came to Porkfest in 2020 when I just said, well, I'm still throwing my party. I don't care what anyone has to say about it. Um, our community did not shut down. Um, I didn't wear a mask until I had to get on an airplane. Uh, we just continued and lived our lives. Um, the kids in our community are still fully balanced. No one sort of did this backsliding. We didn't see some of the national trends where I guess childhood obesity has skyrocketed, um, you know, childhood suicide, like all the negatives. Once you have a healthy social community where we can really help and take care of each other and just keep an eye on people um, has just really made the, the last two years with the biofascism, um, remarkably un, it, not even uninteresting, just a non-issue.